Welcome to this edition of the Exorcist Chronicles. I'm going to take you into one of my seminars. At the conclusion, I was speaking about the subject of Freemasonry. And so we had a mass deliverance session for those who were involved in the Lodge, or especially those who had family members and ancestors who belonged to Freemasonry. One woman seemed to react more seriously than the other, so I went over to anoint her. She manifested violently. I brought her up on stage. You'll also see me minister to a couple of other people, but I focused on her. She had several demons that were passed on to her from ancestors in Freemasonry. Moloch, a demon calling himself the Accuser, Jezebel, Mammon, and a spirit of death. Watch closely when we learned that the spirit of death was actually the spirit of Apollyon. Hang on to her, hang on to her. She is mine, and I told you don't touch her! I'm telling you don't touch her! She's mine! Get up, Paul! No way! Get off! I'm get up, Paul! Get off her now! Do you have a right to this woman? Do you have legal authority? Do you have legal authority? She just renounced the lodge. She just broke the curses of the lodge. Do you have authority? Who's with you all? Who's with you? Speak up. The accuser. The accuser. What? Of the brethren. The accuser of the brethren. What about death? Speak up, he's dead there! We are! We're in her little fury to kill her, huh? Sure. But you're not going to do it. Look right here. Can you sit down over there for a moment, please? I want to do this here, but those of you who came forward can see it and experience it with her. All right? I'll need you to come right over here. Just stand right there. Come up here a little bit. Come up here. Oh, stay standing, please. I'll uh, be introduced you to Paul. And the accuser of the brethren. And Jezebel. And Mammon. The one nobody talks about, Apollyon. And death. <laughs> She's under a sentence of death, isn't she? No, I don't. What? We've tried many times. Well, you haven't been very successful. Move this way about two feet, please. Now, she just broke the curses a moment ago. She did. So you have to go. But, Paul, you're not the ruler. Who's the ruling spirit? Who's the chief spirit? Who is it? Who? Paul, are you? Of course it's Paul. Get up, Apollyon. Who's going to buy him? Thank you. Just stay right here. Get up, Get up, Apollyon. Get up. Show that back. Take about two more steps over this way, please, gentlemen. Thank you. Get up, Apollyon. Almighty Apollyon. The Apollyon spirit in Freemasonry only gets there by invocation. 
He has to be summoned from the pit. He doesn't just come. The Spirit was summoned by her father. What? He won't give up his grief. Well, you know, I'm not here dealing with him. I'm dealing with her. Closer here, please. Her kingdom's coming down. Was it just her father? Are there other generations? How far back? How many generations? Fifteen. 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 The spirit of Apollyon. All or any of the others that are in these who stand me. here when this woman is delivered that spirit's going to come out of you it's going to come off you and that curse of death on your life is going to come off you somebody watch her watch her of the men back here helping me. I come against the spirit of hold her, hold her. Don't let her go back. I come against the spirit of the lodge. And what's interesting is while Pastor was up here putting on that incredible concert, this is the woman who was most worshiping the Lord out here. And she's a worshiper. And she was on her feet worshiping the Lord. You can worship the Lord, but still have stuff hiding inside. And this thing was hiding down inside her the whole time. It's going to come out of her completely tonight. Come on, give the Lord a hand. This thing's going to come out of her. Paul, Molly, Mammon, Lucifer, Apollyon, Jezebel, all the rest of you, look at me. I need, I need some young guy with young knees to get up here and get on the floor and watch this lady. She's going to take me out. Oh, come over here. Come on, this lady. Thank you, sir. She's mine. She's mine. Where's my Bible? I take a threefold cord for Ecclesiastes 412 and I bind Apollyon to death. And all the others, get up, Apollyon. Get up. Say hi, Apollyon. Say it. Hi. Apollyon. Apollyon. Bind to me. Bind to me. All these spirits named. All these spirits named. All the gods of the lodge. The gods of the lodge. We lift the curse. We lift the curse. Of every vow and oath. Every foul and oath. Every foul and oath. Of every grace. Of every degree. Get your eyes open and look at me. For all allegiance to Islam. <laughs> Curses. Mm -hmm. Say it. We lift these curses. 
Fifteen, 15 generations. Fifteen generations. And future generations. Now those of you who have come up here for prayer, don't just be an observer, okay? When I, when I cast this thing out, you just reach out to the Lord and tell him whatever this is that's got a hold on you, it's got to let you go to him. All right? Well, I want you to pray and reach out to God and, and push this stuff off you at the same time. The rest of you out there, I want you to stand up with us. Come on. We're going to get in this together. I cast this thing out. You help me cast it out. Tell this thing where to go. Are you ready? No! Hey, those of you that got my cross, get it up in the air. I want to see the cross. Stick that thing up there where this demon can see it. 